happy. Yeah, so we're gonna push off now. It's really light, so it's perfect conditions. I just hope there's no seaweed, because I can't really see we're gonna go off right now. We want to get off at five, because the sun is something that you have to worry about, because you don't want this much sun. I heard there's big waves, so we're gonna play it safe. We're not gonna, you know, go beyond the boundaries, but, um, and how we feel, because what happens is, when you're out there surfing, it'll be an hour, but when you're like six hours, seven, eight hours, and you get a big surf, it's kind of heavy, so, mm -hmm. so you gotta be conservative, so. We're now action, off the action beach shop. We're gonna move off from Silver Rock. And yeah, this is gonna be advent. Foot, this, this, is the, this is when you feel alive. Yes, I gotta watch it and feel alive for the shore, man. Trust yeah, me, we're yeah. gonna be there, we're in spirit, the entire way, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. for sure on that. So that's why I say, when you drink a glass of water, gee, no, you love it. Yes. When you feel life, this yes. is, this is. So I, the, the vision behind this, this paddle, is a is global organic tourism action plan. And that is about you know working and promoting the community, doing business with them, with the kids of the community. We have a program here. The kids here we have um, uh, from the Carters Gap. We teach them to surf. So I want to inspire people. Right. When I say inspire, you know a lot of things are going on in this world, and we are one. Yeah. And and I have a crew. I know that I I want to, I teach them to surf. I teach them to windsurf. I teach them to kite surf, and they become part of our beach culture. So I want to big up the fellas from um, Carters Gap. Jaden, Aaron, Tyree, and those fellas, and Quan, that have been part of the kids we've had here for two years. We taught them to surf, so we're really excited. We're really excited also that that fellas from Hawaii gave me some boards for them, and mm. and, and we and Nash has been a major part of allowing them to go kite surfing. Awesome. So that's part of the problem. And also we have fellas like Charlie Brown. Right. You know, I don't smoke her, but you know a lot of people, and that's become a legalized. He went to jail for many years for it, mm -hmm. and when he came out of jail, I had a boat there. And I gave it to him and I empower him. Empowering means when I say the word empowering, it does not mean he has to like me. Ten years he can say, Brian, we don't like each other. Right. No problem. Because yeah. empowering is let him have his own thoughts, his own way, and I'm not controlling him. So that's yeah. empowering. Yeah. Then we also have Father Josh who works at the action shop. So our vision here is to is to is to empower people. Right. So we're really excited about those programs. And when we speak about the economy, not the economy, the, the environment. You know, this this is another a very environmental project too, but I'm a hypocrite because I get on a plane and fly all the time. But I'm environmentally <laughs> conscious, and I want this. This is a conscious journey. When right. I say conscious, is as a hum, humanitarian, mm -hmm. conscious how you treat other people, right. conscious how you treat the environment we walk on, nice. and, and respect everybody for who they are and what they've done. And that is what this journey is about. This is re-energizing mm -hmm. and refocusing. So I love I love the journey because it's all about giving and not expectations of receiving. Hi. As you were just saying, you know, you give and you are helping in every way and you really don't all you want to do is have the freedom of giving and the freedom of helping, man. That's that's freedom. A lot of people don't get to experience that, you that, know what I mean? That's why I feel so free my soul is so at ease because that is what it's about. And I Proper. feel so easy about that because um I give from the heart, and, right? And if you give from heart, you can't control something you give. That's for sure. And you don't. Like, and if they don't give you nine by, you, and sometimes don't tell me wrong. Sometimes I like Brian. No, you have yeah. to release. Right. Well, we all do that, man. That's why. That's why we're known as human. We make mistakes. We can ask for forgiveness, and we can step again as long as we know what we're doing. You know. 100%. My brother, we behind you, one hundred percent. Cool. So we. What it is? Uh, I'm gonna face the ocean here now with okay. nothing that people can't see anything at all. Ready? What shoes are you going out? Are you going out right now? All right, so we'll put this on and then go again for sure. All right, so we don't have much lighting down here right now. So obviously, um, I'm not able to just come on with you right now, but we're just going to wait on Brian. You should push off in a couple of seconds time. I'm going to put this in with the other one and then we're going to jam from there. So see you in a little bit. So we are in an area known as the Cliffs of Paragon. This is just below the Grant the Adams Airport. Um, we're just to the south of the Big Heart Guns. Uh, sorry, west and south of the Big Heart Guns. Um, beautiful, beautiful area out here. A little bit rustic and a little bit rough. You can drive along this cliff here right up to Ocean City, but you're going to have to have a vehicle that's capable of doing it. Please do not venture out here when it's wet. But this is a beautiful, beautiful place. And what we're going to do right now is do our, what we like to call our love, circle of love EMC style. So here we go.
Our journey today is following the action man, Brian Tom, around the island. He's doing his paddle for organic tourism. More of that can be found on my site. If you're interested, have a look on Facebook site. Um, but we're doing our coverage in between. So be between the lives and the 4Ks, we hopefully cover the entire island today for you. Uh, the 4Ks will go up on YouTube later on today. Um, we merge them all together. Well, tomorrow possibly, because uh, this could be an all-day event right through into the night time. But that's what our purpose is today, to follow and support a man that has a worthy cause, a man that's following his spirituality, a man that's following his own journey. So that's what we do. We support those kind of causes. So that's why we're here. Hope you all have a great day. And from at the moment, we're Paragon or Paragon Cliffs. We're going to work our way right around the cliff line, right up through Ocean City now, up through Greenpoint, Ocean City, and then on to Foul Bay. Sorry, rag, uh, yeah, Foul Bay, where we're going to view in from the cliffs. So I'll catch you all later on. Eh? Take care. Alright, so I thought what we'd do is right now we're just in Ocean City working our way around to Foul Bay. So I'll be going up by Foul Bay itself to hopefully get him as he comes along up there. Um, I don't see him as yet in his general location. Maybe we could go and peep it. Yes, maybe. We go and peep out and see if we can find him, come around the point, And then we'll catch him a little further over by Foul Bay. But just to show you where we are, we're on the cliffs here at Ocean City in St. Philip. And these go right around to actual Fall Bay itself. But have a look at this stunning <laughs> sunrise is about to happen around here. It's going to be beautiful this morning. Boy, he's paddling in some absolute beauty. But to do this by yourself in this dark water with no chase boat or no one else with you, that takes some serious heart and soul to do that without a doubt. He's on his own journey and we're going to actually support him in any form that we can because... His journey is very much like ours, give without expectations of receiving. So we'll be back with you in a few minutes time. Um, just show you where I am in the surrounding area, as I said before, Ocean City and St. Philip. I'll give you another little circle again, circle of love. We're going to be working today between 4Ks and live broadcast and we'll piece all the 4Ks together um, you know, at the end of the day or tomorrow or whatever, depending on what time we get through. Uh, hopefully Brian will make it right around, that's what we're here for. Whether he makes it 100 yards or right around the entire island, makes no difference. The cause, the purpose is real as well as it can be. So we'll be back there in a few minutes time. They said we'll be alternating between the two. So I'll catch you later. See you all later. Well, we've worked our way down a little bit further because I don't haven't seen Brian up by the full bay section yet. So I've come a little bit further down by Green Point. Um, there's no signal here, so we can do this one in 4K for sure. Look how beautiful this morning is, though. Woo! Top boat, pretty, pretty for weeks. So we're gonna make our way out to that point now and see if we see him anywhere coming up along the cliff area. And if not, we will check somewhere else as well. So it's sort of like, you know, I, I was driving along the cliff and then I went inland a little bit. Uh, get up to uh, Fall Bay quickly, which uh, wasn't necessary at all, so I'm back down sort of like walking on the cliff area. We're just above Salt Cave, if you're looking on your maps and stuff, you'll see an area called Salt Cave, and you'll also see an area called Green Point, we're sort of like between the two of them. Beautiful, beautiful morning. Doing this in beach shoes this morning, not the most comfortable of walking a tire out here at all, however, I know it's going to take in some sand. I got my, my hikers if I need them, but I don't need them as yet. So I just want to show you the kind of cliff area out here if you're exploring this section. Remember that you can park in multiple places. I would recommend parking probably up in Ocean City um, if you're not driving across the cliff, that is. And then you can come here directly. Or you can come right up the actual drive from right down by the cannon, up by the big guns, harp guns and stuff, and work your way up here. It's just a sensational morning. Absolutely beautiful morning. Beautiful, beautiful morning. 
so nice to be able to cover this. It's going to be a long day. I got all my battery packs uh, charged up and stuff, so hopefully we should be in good order. Let's see how that goes. Um, I have to minimize on one or the other, uh, 4Ks or lives or something. It all depends, or we'll alternate and we won't do them at the same locations for sure. Beautiful though out here. Here are the grass canaries, just lovely. Just in case you're wondering where we are, we're up at Gems area, just above the airport section. I am parked, I parked actually up in Ocean City itself. I made my way down here because I wasn't sure where I might catch him on the route, if he had made this point or not. No, I would have definitely driven out here. As I said, I did walk earlier on to get over to Full Bay, but that wasn't really necessary at all. Should have gone by his schedule, which I should have done anyhow. So we're making our way out. But what a beautiful coastline. I'm going to elevate you up so you can have a look and see how stunning out here is. Now, we did a live vlog out here before, uh, right where we are, but we ran a lot of vision difficulties and very pixely because the resolution was really bad. So, we're just coming out here right now to see if we can see him. If I don't see him here, well, I'll have to continue. I don't know if he's uh, picked up some supersonic speed, which is possible because the conditions are beautiful right now. Absolutely stunning. We're just above Salt Cave, as I mentioned before. That's directly under us in the cliff area here. It's not a very big cave, but it does carry the name. But look at how beautiful up here is. Hiker's Paradise. If you want to come and get some real good sport, park somewhere in Long Beach area. I have a really former Long Beach resort used to be. And then work your way up here. Beautiful, beautiful coastline. Stunning. I can go a little further out. Then you can do a 360 for you. You know what it is, 360, circle of love. Beautiful day though, cheese on, absolutely stunning day. I'm sure that Brian's schedule is pretty on. I think he's done this like six or eight times, something like that there. But um, it's just gorgeous today, absolutely stunning. Go watch where you walk in, because normally when they have all my hikers, I would drop a kick in something like this and not worry about it. But <laughs> these beach shoes are designed to let stuff in. So you know what they'll do to me, they'll mash me up then, for sure. All right, we're not seeing him here. However, what we are seeing is a lot of beauty that I'd like to share with you anyhow. So we're en route, so why not? Capture a little bit of 4K, put, piece them all together, stitch them in, let you have an enjoyable time looking at some of the coastline of the island. Okay, so I, I, he may have gone, between the time he came from up by Full Bay to here, he may have made it around. Because I, I actually don't see him out here, but he's going to be a tiny dot anyhow. Because he's going to be far away from the rebound of the bat washing off the cliff and stuff. I don't think he'll go very close to the cliff. Probably further out, so we're going to catch him up somewhere for sure. The day has now started. But look at this beauty, people. I did promise you a circle of love. Promises are promises that must be kept. Here we go. Stunning Barbados! <laughs> so, well, it's breathtaking here today. Beautiful, it's getting a little bit warm. I must tell you, it's getting a little tacky already. Um, humidity is fairly high as well. So just to show you where, just below here, um, actually goes in cliff under where we are. As I said before, it's not a big cave, but it does carry that name for sure. Mostly maps will have that on, so you can idea where we are exactly. But beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Barbados. Absolutely stunning. All right, we're going to go and look for Brian in another location because he may have on his engines today and he may go on ahead. So 
we will go around the corner, have a peep and see if we can catch up with him on route. Uh, catch you all later guys. Have a great day. Love you all. So I showed you some footage when we were coming in this direction. I want to show you some footage going the other direction so you can see the kind of absolute beautiful scenery that you would encounter if you come hiking along these cliffs. There are many, many different types of hikes in this island. All of them differ from coast to coast. This is a beautiful one as well. All across the park and cliffs and stuff. Just breathtaking from Long Beach, that entire area. So combine it all and do a really good walk. This goes right up, right up the whole way around. So depending on what your stamina ability is and stuff, you know, that will determine what it's all about. Just want to show you a little bit of here, not to stay here too long, but this will go as a nice little add-on, I'm sure. Let you see what the other side of the point up here looks like. Yes, beautiful. All right, we're on a mission, so we're on the roll. Catch you later. Now, what would a visit be if we came on this side here to follow this today and then pass by Harry Smith to take a little bit of a 4K in for you? Beautiful day. The sun is obviously at a, a really hard angle to work towards looking in that direction. Um, but we are up here now at Harry Smith. We're going to go, go out on our point, see if we can see Brian's progress. Oh, well, there he is. He's coming into Harry Smith right now as we're talking. Right there in the point. Yeah, he's motoring and coming through, but his water has changed a lot. So as you can appreciate, this is going to be getting a lot more challenging, um, a lot more difficult. You can see his stance is low as well, trying to keep the balance and stuff. There's a lot of turbulence where he's paddling through right now. I don't know uh, really much about the areas, but I do know he's ahead of time by about 10 or 15 minutes. Looking good at the moment. Definitely looking strong, making his way around for sure. But Harry Smith, is this not just stunning? Top boat, beautiful. My goodness, and it's here. This must have been absolutely glorious. Ooh, bedroom windows upstairs, opening up for the morning sunrise. How oh, gorgeous. Absolutely stunning, stunning. And he's making good progress, so we're going to go on to our next one, which is going to be up at Bottom Bay. We do something from there as well cover it. We're doing 4k at the moment because the signal out here on this cliff area in St. Philip is very very uh, iffy. You're never too sure exactly what's going to happen. It drops some good spots into terrible in, a, in like a foot or two feet. So we're not doing up here for the live. We did a live earlier at Bel Air Cliff and stuff. Just above Bel Air, above Shark Hole. So we're going to take in this 4k now. Piecing it together a little bit here, a little bit there. Every little bit counts to the journey. It's interesting to watch this here as it's progressing. I'll tell you, I don't know if I would do that by myself, under no condition actually. <laughs> so, hats off and kudos to him to find his spirituality and his faith where he's going. It's beautiful. So there he goes. I can do a quick zoom in for you, um, but it's not a, in a progressive one because I have it straight into the phone, into the phone camera right now, not utilizing the other section. So as you can see him right there. Making his way up. Challenging the elements as you can see in front. He's now coming into the swell that's coming around the point, the north swell itself. So it's gonna get interesting today. Alright, so again from we're this time at Harry Smith. And this is a beautiful beach. As you would time up here, bring a few friends with you. Don't spend up there by yourself and one person. I wouldn't recommend that if you're lying out here every day. Always stay away from the bushes, you know, we like to tell you the factual stuff that I think is keeps me safe, so hopefully it will keep you safe as well, which I'm sure it will. Um, beautiful scenery, obviously we've been waiting a long time this morning to see the most beautiful scenery of the day. So <laughs> you're now going to be given this opportunity, so hope you all are enjoying yourselves. You know our humour is not on a change, we follow this journey, but we are on our own journey. So it's just as though we're out here doing our own stuff. but. We're having Brian along with the ride, walking his journey with him today. 
Hope you all have a fantastic day. And I'm not going to leave it on me. Well, I could, but I'll give you a chance. It's all the beauty. Beautiful, beautiful cliffs. He's midway across Harry Smith, making his way in the direction of Bottom Bay. And that's where we're going to cover next. See you a little bit. Pushing on through, man. Not letting anything turn him back at all. I can tell you, I, I can, I can only appreciate. Can't understand, could appreciate how difficult that must be. The challenges it must be to come run up here, especially into these headwinds that begin to come in now off of the southeast. I would say maybe a little bit more of the east, east southeast maybe somewhere like that. But it's gonna be a little bit more difficult for him. But they said they're going to Bottom Bay. They said I was going to do. I can't remember if I said it in life or if I said it on the actual 4K, but I brought you to my favorite beach on the southeast section. It's called Palmetto Bay. Definitely a four plus. There's nothing around here. I mean, their homes maybe a, a few hundred yards away from here, but no one really comes down here in the day and per normal. So if you're coming here, just you and your partner to spend the day. Definitely a four plus. I wouldn't come you and your partner. I'd bring a few more friends with you. It's a beautiful, beautiful spot. Great to come and take pictures, but not to stick around for a whole period of time, especially to put down your towels and go horizontal. Don't want to bring you any information or bring you any scenery that we don't give you a little bit of our alert on as well because you may not pick up on the other vlogs that we have done in these areas. All right, circle of love. Coming back to Brian in a second. Here we go. Circle of love, whole way around. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'll give you a see if we can get a little bit closer on him. Remember, we're gonna be jumpy, so here we go. All right, so you can see he is going his way around for sure. He's going into the hardest, one of the hardest spots now, I'm sure. This is winds, head on winds and head on swells. So challenging area for him. But his next stop would be uh, on his schedule as being Raggy Point. So if you're Gonna make your way there. You would know um, where he is right now. I would say he's about 10 minutes from Raggy Point. Somewhere in that kind of time frame. I don't know too much. He's motoring today, right? So, but he is getting a lot more difficult areas now. So, Gazam, definitely a few floats here. Window to the south, uh, I say east, southeast. And then you got him as well there, getting hammered with the cross. Well, he's just taking some cool downs, as you can appreciate. It's hot out there. I'm on the cliff here and I'm feeling like Bernie. So, yeah, I'm sure he has all of his gear and all the necessities and stuff because it's not the first time he's done this. I think he's done it like eight times previously. Let's see if we can get him a, a little wave. Woohoo! Yes. All right. So we are following him. Eating some fruit. Good stuff. No chaser boat. No companionship. But his own spirituality and himself. And that's what he said he wanted to do today in the elements and see you know enjoy the elements for what they are and that's what a lot of us do nowadays we're on our journeys a little bit different but it, the path is different the journey is the same beautiful 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 in far distance i'll leave only focus right now to zoom in at sam lord's castle just so you can see a little bit better around the area as i said this is um the beautiful beautiful palmetto bay just lovely When we just come back around again, we're going to just go back out see Brian one more time. He's just taking his snack out. I'm going to take a snack out myself in a few minutes time. we got enough room inside the car. I mean the car. War wagon, excuse me, no disrespect. <laughs> Jeez. It's beautiful. All right, folks. So that is our little bit of an update from over here on this side. We'll be getting on some more again. We'll be covering some other areas, but... Got to conserve some juice because the batteries are looking a little bit heavy, uh, heavy right now. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But beautiful, 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 beautiful southeastern, I would say maybe eastern, almost eastern section of Barbados. 
cliffs along here just lovely until you get raggy point which is just around the corner take it take care there and i have a little people as well i don't know um, why i'm stopping in one spot you don't have to stop in one spot i want to share with you the beauty around here today in the 4k resolution as we have that opportunity as well again signal up here very very iffy we're not me broadcasting live from here um so those that are on the live waiting until our next broadcast it's not me for a little while it's just too too much trouble up here in st philip to get a good signal but the cliffs go right around here we have i have some beautiful stills and stuff up there if i remember correctly and we also did this area in life but as i said we had some signal issues but you can always check that as well just put in palmetto bay and it will come up with wherever it was walking to a few combinations we've had over the time so i'm putting in his putting in his base and stuff needed needs some energy don't want to get dehydrated you want to keep continuously hydrated all the time so you don't want to put in a whole set of fluid and flood yourself yes there he goes again i'm not aware to zoom in folks just leave us a broad out so you can appreciate this vast ocean that this man is going to be paddling through today we're going to cover it as much as we possibly can anyhow for now from palmetto bay up in the parish <laughs> this is our coverage as you know of last man standing paddle boarding around the island for organic tourism more on that there you can check on his site you can check it on our site as well um, worthy cause and we are most happy supporting worthy causes that's what the emc do so i'll see you all later on and from myself and brian we'll see you all in a little while on the next point catch you later all right so we're back on our 4k because the signal under this cliff area here is just not good enough to carry you what they want to do from this point as you can see brian is just here and sort of like in the glare there coming around he's been encountering some really big swells this is just an indication of the kind of sets that are coming through around here all north swell coming in hitting him straight in and he's paddling sort of like into it so i'm not sure around here could be really challenging he's probably had to go further out i would imagine um but we will see he will dictate that but there he is coming through determined to get right wrong we we'll see how it goes brave challenge for sure i'm gonna come back to him in a second just to show you where we are it is beautiful out here devil's point is where we're at and we're looking into the raggy point area i had a video i may have put up i may also put up before that we did just before on this cliff here where we're waiting on brian since we have been here though these sets have definitely picked up so there's a definitely a solid solid swell coming in now more solid than when he first came i would have to say a lot more turbulence a lot more water movement taking another little breather take a little cool down the sun's got to be pretty intense i know they got some people on the cliff doing some photography now my eyes to the east mark gill he'll be out there a couple of other people as well following him but you know as we want to get down here we lower elevation always the closest to the elements awesome man i'm gonna zoom you all in it's gonna be a flat zoom just to let you see him get it throat there it's beautiful out here today absolutely lovely perfect conditions too high a resolution there too 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 far in i didn't mean to go so high up a little sprinkle coming down now showers of blessings that will help him tremendously as he's going wrong here because it's gonna be really hot out here but this is where it starts to get challenging as he would have said this is where the real action starts to turn on and the meat of the whole paddle is from here down to north point till he gets to the to the northwestern tip coming around into like duppies area off of duppies and stuff it's gonna be all going eyes open now can't take your eyes off the water because you don't know what's coming you can see sets how they're popping in on occasions um they're definitely not consistent in size so i mean it looks like it's flat next minute a solid set starts to come through but we can't carry the live broadcast from here signaling is just not good enough i'm gonna walk you to where we are and then we're gonna come back to him get around the corner from some of these drizzles and stuff i'm sure we have family up in the hills that are covering this as well up in that section up there we're gonna come back off the zoom i want to show you this beautiful panoramic area it's just absolutely gorgeous I'll show you where you're walking over i don't want to hear about any about him <laughs> so, anybody who mentions him you're going in my need of a strike for sure beautiful 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 now when i was in my early 20s teens and early 20s this is where we used to bodyboard quite often uh raggy point it's called spring bay it's a really really awesome beach break 
you know, it has its things. You've got to get the right conditions for it really to be good. But if you get here really good, yeah, Caddy Slater's actually featured on the front of one of the surfing magazines, taking a drop in out here, a drop in barrel. So it uh, is obviously of significance for sure. You can see down the points out there, that's just off of Skeets Bay and Culpeper Island and stuff, all that rough sea conditions. And then beyond that, well, you're going to get um, Bell Point and going on into Colle Savannah, Concept Bay, etc. So we can do it bit by bit. Our battery's not looking so healthy, but we're going to have a little driving time now because um, this section here now, Brian's going to be fairly far out. So we'll cover one or two areas, but we're not going to do it um, maybe as you know maybe as comprehensively as now we'll see how it goes though just got to watch the power of the battery and stuff i have another full charge but it takes a little while to get its charge going so as you can see there is a swell come around here now we come into the shade you can see it much better and just to show you brian he's getting ready to go again he just took a little breather this is sort of like one of his midway points i guess he eat up with some fruit and thing now get him get his liquids in right now he's in a good spot because he's got around that current that would have been going along the cliff face going towards palmetto bay and stuff so He's in a relatively good spot now at the moment. So I'll see if I can get a little bit of life going here, just so that everybody know the progress and thing. But just want to share with you all this beautiful place here. Can't really give you a 360 because we're on the cliff face. But what I'll do is I'll bring you around like this, let you have a good look at it. Then we'll take a little zoom off and then we'll come back and show you the, the 180 beauty. And now we'll take in the other way. Enjoy the scenery, folks, and we'll catch you along the line. All these will be merged into one later on, so hopefully you're enjoying this adventure along with us. We just keep in Brian's company as he goes around the island, because uh, what we do, we support each other in worthy causes. Brian, one of our family members, man is on his own spiritual journey. She's um, putting in some food for sure. All right, see you all later, guys. All right, so our journey is continuing as we're going around the coastline following today. Um, we just came from the other side of Ragged Point, that is the point of Ragged Point itself. Uh, we're now going to show you another section over. You can see Brian in the center of the camera there, coming around that inside section. So he is coming on the inside of the reef area, so we'll get to see him again, hopefully. And making his way right around to the eastern side of the island in the distance there. That's Bell Point. And then you can see the beach houses at Skeets Bay. You know, someone was saying, well, you just over there and he will come for a cup of coffee. But right now, I just on this journey and I can't leave it, unfortunately, because it's taking me a little bit extra time in between spots as well, because I want to capture beauty such as this. You know, I just want to capture the actual journey around the island. I want to capture the journey's beauty that he is seeing from the ocean side today, which must be incredible. All right, so we came the other side of where you normally come to um to call pepper island but i want to bring you onto this section here um we talked about the route to get here already um it does come off road so don't mess with it when it's wet especially if you have a car it's beautiful out here just beautiful stunning scenery he's coming around through the inside section there definitely um a good a good paddle today certainly not a, a not a calm paddle that's for sure but he's going ahead with his journey all right so i don't think we have seen i think i've ever brought you from this side here to show you called pepper island but this is called pepper island as you can see it does have its coconut tree on it um no way of getting across here unless you swim though because also the good current runs around the inside section here but all these sandbar that's in that area has gone that will come again because that goes and comes that's not nothing consistent and you really can't tell when it's going to be there it just happens to get the build up beautiful 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 cliffs beautiful beautiful coastline beautiful beautiful barbados all right so i'm going to give you a nice we're going to start off with brand and we're going to come back to his general area again he's center of his screen we're going to do our circle of love for here and back up with him so here we go
And there he is. So you've had your little spin through this section here by Gullpepper Island. Uh, we'll be making our way further off to the north now and catching him at some other locations where we can shoot him up. He's paddling on the outside of this bay here from Raggy Point. Yes, he's taking a direct beeline over um, to Bell Point, and that's probably what he's doing. Just running on the inside of the actual channel. So, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful St. Philip. Now, how could I pass one of the most amazing sceneries <laughs> that there is around? Good morning again to you all. I'm so happy you all are joining me on this area. I wish some of you all were physically here with me today because the areas that we're going to be taking in and what we've been taking in so far are quite quite amazing. I know some of you may know them, but I know there are many that don't. So this is all something that we're trying to give you the beauty and all the peace that's around us. There we go again. Right, so there he is, center of camera. I'll give you a little zoom in on him. Got to try and move my hat and shades and everything to try and get this here make sure I capture him. Looks uh, somewhere around there. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll have a great day everyone. Take care. Be peaceful. See you soon again. So here we go. He's right around all out here. We're just past Bell Point. Working his way around the Concept Bay section now. Working through some nice swells there as well, as you can see. It's a beautiful paddle, absolutely beautiful paddle. I don't know how strenuous it is, I'm sure I know. Uh, I can't even imagine how strenuous this would be. But look at what he is viewing from the ocean side. What a lot of you don't normally see at all. But check out these areas. Now we've been on there already, we did a video down there before. It's beautiful, beautiful lower ridge here. Lovely blowholes, you can hear them breathing and stuff. Just gorgeous, gorgeous area. He is motoring now for sure. He is really flying now because to be honest with you, I just I did a little something just now as you all would remember or you should remember up there by Culpeper Island. And he was just passing us there. So he's getting across here. It's like he's out of the real turbulent forward swell that he was facing all the time now and he's now doing a cross swell. So good time, looking comfortable, paddling easy. Definitely looking good for sure out there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and see if we can get some live range here that I can give some some of the others a little coverage as well as they're following us around the island but I want you to see this here and I'm going to join on some more because I don't want to stop here at this view I want to show you all out here so yeah so you also want to keep Brian within range so I can show everyone else but this is just beautiful out here St. So Mark's Church so you can see up there on the hill coming into the center screen now and just over the other side we can step up here and do our video from here and not lose anything and from the other side as you can see we were all out there just only you could see the homes up there with the, the crane beach homes um, beautiful beautiful you can see poor skeets base suffering with all these sargasm on the inside section and the beautiful beautiful cliffs of up here for the skew area it's just beautiful today just stunning i'm going to give you a circle of love and then i'm going to give a quick live if i can get a good signal from up here i want to get a nice elevation for this circle of love for you we're doing this all day long because that's what we do. We share love. So here we go. As we like to say, we encircle you in love and hopefully you will feel the beauty and serenity that we experience when we do these. All right, so see you all again on our next stop. Not sure where that'll be, but as you can see, he's making good steady progress going down. Um, see you all later on. Ciao. Well, I'm not sure if you can actually make him out, but he's right there going into those casuarina trees on the center of the camera. That's him working his way around there. He's on the outer section just off of Bath Reef. He's not coming on the inside. He's staying on the outer section. Um, I don't blame him in there, it's quite turbulent and yeah, quite uh, bumpy. You definitely got a lovely little swell coming through, but it's just so clean, glassy and long walls. I won't doubt that he's going to catch 
a couple of waves somewhere in the outer sections here and have a real good time because some of these waves over here are looking absolutely amazing. He's right behind those Casarina trees there now making his way down. But we're up here by St. Mark's Church. Don't have the gimbal so we might be a little bit jittery at the moment trying to charge up this phone. So I don't want the external mic and stuff to be all plugged in. But beautiful. And we came from just up there in the center of the screen now which is Bell Point. And then we were also by Skeets Bay and um, called Pepper Island and Ragged Point as well. So you can see where we are. Beautiful, beautiful. And what we're going to do is by St. Mark's Church and we're going to do a 360 love right here. Enjoy this. beautiful today is gorgeous look at those lines that are coming in Woo! soup almost is just out of sight all right folks that's it we're gonna shut down now but you can see brian he's just come from behind the casarina trees this way you can focus it on his area he's in that section there you can probably see little dot white dot and stuff being uh directly over the solar panel you're seeing the lower section of your screen in the middle you come straight up you'll see brian there slightly to the left of it so St. Mark's Parish, St. Mark's Church up in St. Philip, St. John border. <laughs> so that is it. Have a great day everyone. See y'all later on. We'll be somewhere along the coastline, but look at Bath Beach and stuff today. I mean out here is looking absolutely fairy tale style. Beautiful. All right, folks, our next lookout point is, we're far away, but I'm gonna give you like a 3X zoom, see if you can pick him up from there. Okay, he is just in the center of the screen now. You'll probably see him there, Pat, and he's well outside of this reef, obviously. You can see the amount of current and stuff on the inside here, especially in that general area, which you'll be trying to stay away from. Um, but he is directly off of us, and I would say approximately right there in the center of your screen. Approx yeah, about Sentinel. So this is the Bath Beach lookout and I want to show you we are elevated up on a hill that overlooks the actual Bath Beach itself. And you may hear the microphone sound a little different, that's because I'm charging up at the moment and I'm using the actual mic on the phone. But don't mind that. We're doing what we have to do to get the coverage here today. Look at how beautiful this island is today. Oh my goodness gracious me. Look at the blues. Woo! Hot, but picture perfect. I'm telling you, it's beastly hot though, real hot. So I hope he's taking care of himself. I know he knows how to do this. He's a, a veteran at this, but it's a hot, hot day. Stunning beauty, stunning, stunning beauty. This has to give you a 360 because behind you just see war wagon. So all I'll do is I'll give you a silent 180 and give you this here as we finish the section here we bath. Here we go. Wow, we cheese on bread and well, well, well. Is this not just mind blowing? All right, till the next section, I'll leave you with that little view so we can filter one into the other. Looking up into Concept Bay, absolutely stunning day in Barbados. All right, so we're still doing some charging, which means that the microphone is out for now because that port's used for charging. Um, but I still want to bring you some of this beautiful, beautiful 4K resolution of Martin's Bay. I was just viewing, we did a 4K also from up there just now by three crosses overlooking. Um, no, we actually didn't do a video up there. We did a video from Bath. I did go by the three crosses and have a look for him. 
I saw him just off of Conga Bay. So he's off of here in this giant area for where I am standing on the beach. It's hard to see him. Um, but I know he's in this giant area coming down now. What he calls flats. And then he'll be doing connect the dots soon. Which is a long, 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 long section all on the east coast. But there's a good sized north swell that's coming through Ladder Rock this side. A great wave breaking outside there. You could probably see it right now breaking as a left. Yeah, that's Ladder Rock. That's um, a lot of you that would know here know that crank. Really beautiful break down there. We go down a little further, but it's right in front of the actual rocks here. to see lower, the eastern, sorry, the western side of Martins Bay. You can see it cranking and going off there. The bigger it gets in north, the more deadly out there it gets. So we'll take in a little bit of that as we go down a little further. But just give me a little view from here. And what I'll do is I will give you a 360 of where we are, um, just so you can get an appreciation and a feel for what I'm experiencing right now. So here we go. Just another breathtaking location in Barbados on the eastern coast. Remember, take some drives off your all's regular routes if you've never seen here. This is Martin's Bay. It's definitely worth the view, definitely worth the visit, definitely worth a stroll in here as well. Um, they begin to warm up for Martin's Bay Thursday, Fish Friday. You see a couple of umbrellas out here, all of the benches and stuff in the yard itself have all their umbrellas up. And they're just waiting on some people now, I guess around 12, 1 o'clock. Down here be cranking because I know down here gets real real busy on a Thursday for sure. Alright, so that's it from Martins Bay for now. Just beautiful, beautiful scenery, taking it all in. Um, I can just imagine what uh, our boy is doing out there looking in at the inside section. The heavenly, heavenly views. It must just so beautiful from out there. I'm feeling it here, but I can imagine what it's like being going past this coastline by yourself where he is. Not that I want to do that, that is way too strenuous to me, but Amazing, absolutely amazing. Friends from somewhere off of Martin's Bay, I can't catch you. The swells won't let me find you. You drop any troughs and stuff, you're not up there too long on the top. So um, we'll catch you further on down the coast, but we know you're in this area because I saw you from up in the hills just now. And we will keep walking with you, buddy. As you take your journey, we will travel it with you. Have a great day, everyone. All right, so I'm giving you a little bit more spoilage of 4K here in beautiful, beautiful Bashby area overlooking Soup Bowl and High Rock and Parla. And we're going to make our way over to the Cultural Center. I'm right away over there and see what there's like. Show sure, Brian. Brian is actually doing some routing. So, got some of the ground base operators out here walking, enjoying themselves. There you go. Awesome. Hi ladies, how are you all? Alright, great, thanks. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cultural center. We talked about this before. They're just letting the grass grow and then they're going to do some trimming back and stuff. It looks absolutely amazing. I once again, I came up here looking for someone to dust out on this court, but I don't see anybody around. Maybe it's a good thing though, because I would only have sweat up myself today for really no purpose, because nobody out here can beat me. <laughs> Jeez. You all think I got to stop talking foolish just because I'm on a 4K? No, this is a, this is a journey. Everybody knows it already. It includes a lot of nonsense and enjoying life and having fun. Making jokes about a lot of serious things sometimes. But beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cultural centre up here. Absolutely lovely. They're going to be putting in a skate park. They've said they're going to do that. We're going to see how that looks when it's finished. That should be amazing. But you've got little exercise areas. We've done this here in a couple of vlogs before, but I'm on my way over to have a look at see Brian. I saw him just now coming down off the point. I said we'll take him and let you have a look at that beautiful scenery over there. As I said, we are showing you all the beautiful Barbados today. We are doing some multitasking. Now he was when he came here, just off of Atlantis on the outside section, 
coming in, so we should pick him up very soon. I think I see him actually. We're soon when it gets stationary though, I don't walk on his steps the next minute. I gotta pull some of my Olympic skills in play and let everybody around here see how talented I am. You know, I don't like I don't like to make that public. I like to keep that quiet. <laughs> I'm a very discreet fella. I don't like to bring the attention to myself or anything like that. So here we go. All right, I see him from here for sure. I'm going to have to zoom you into a three click one time because I, I don't have on. I'm trying to save battery power all around today. So I pull in all kind of ways to try and make it a little easier so we can get right around, get the full coverage. Um, so I don't actually have the smooth connected up with all of its features that I could done. The, just the progressively better magnification. So I'm going to be jumping like from one to three, but just to show you where we are, we're overlooking beautiful, beautiful tent bay. As you can see, there are quite a few hikers there that are making their way around. Real hot conditions. These are beastly conditions to be hiking in for sure. But let's get Brian. He's off his board. He's just obviously getting a little cool down. Let's magnify it up there and hopefully I'll be able to find it for you all to see. He's in the center of the screen now. You see, yep, dead center of the screen. It's a little hard to see with lighting out here as well because I have overhead sun now which is blinding me. I can't really see the screen too well. So, But you can make him out there. I am sure in the center of the screen you see the front of the board up in the air. You're just getting some more to drink and eat and stuff. Remember this is what he calls connecting the dots. This is the most difficult, longest stage of the whole thing. Uh, and it tires you out just to go into that north swell that's coming around by the north point. But we can be following him right through. See that swell that's about to break now? He's right there on the inside of it. See? There's the board. Yeah. Perfect. Yep, so this is what we're covering right now. Take a little walk around this property and show you what the culture center looks like from these angles. Remember, we got some overhead sun, so it's gonna be very, very, very like, bright. We've gotta get us back on this singles. There we go. As this is a 4K, I'm probably doing a little editing all over the place if necessary. Try not to though, I like to keep it as natural as possible. Beautiful though, absolutely beautiful. And you can see him out there again, making his way down. He's back up paddling again. So he's had, actually, you know, he's sitting, he's eating his food one more thing. It looks that way to me. All right, and I want to bring you out here. Now, the cultural property goes all across here, where originally was a lot of grass and rab land. Uh, I used to drive across here all the time. You used to actually drive down this hill into Tent Bay or vice versa. Um, however, it is a beautiful, beautiful venture down here. Kudos and hats off to everyone that's involved in this amazing project. I can just imagine when this landscaping is fully matured, how spectacular down here is gonna be. Couple of little hideouts here that I used to have years ago. I don't know why we would have hideouts here, but I'll just show you them anyhow. A uh, little, few little vantage points. As we are on 4K, we can go down the cliff, we're not in loose signal. So I'll show you around this area as well. It's quite beautiful. And again, we're going to be taking in all the tent base. So we're going to be doing some going down there, holding on and grabbing because the angle here is very, very steep. But I would like to show you this little section over here. There's nothing really to see too much. Nothing too spectacular, but you know me. I like to come and show you all some stuff you would not normally see. So we get some beautiful views from over here. Overlooking this section. Lovely. Now this used to go right around to a little cave that's just below here as well. Um, as you can see, there's a little cave under here. So, but we're not be going up in there right now. I just want to show you it. I'll show you that it's a little secret spot at one time. A lot of bushes growing here since I came here last time. Though. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful conditions. One more time, Brian, you sent to the screen. Not worry, magnify it now. You can see in there, making its way down. As I said before, spectacular tent bay, Atlantis Hotel. Just beautiful, beautiful coastline. Stunning. My way back up here now so we're gonna put this at a pause again we're gonna pick this back up one more time remember all these 4ks will be joined together on youtube so they're gonna come in and they're all gonna have hellos and their goodbyes but that's just how we do it because we don't know which the first which the last and you know you have a great time i'll see you all later ciao for now All right, so you can see Brian there making his way out a little bit. Swells in the inside section, he ripped us off a of parlor and high rock. Pretty vicious down in there, as you can see. He doesn't want to obviously get caught in that, so he's going to stay around on the outside of that. But 
He is definitely taking a little breather right now. It is beastly, beastly hot out here. I mean, incredibly hot. So he's taking his cool downs and stuff. He told me this morning the sun is going to be one of the most um, difficult things to face today. So he's going to have to deal with that. Just jump in the water every so often, cool himself down and go again. But um, strong progress for sure. We'll zoom out now. They'll show you where we are. We're just on the last elevation before we go into actual uh, high rock parlor area. You can see soup bowl is going off in the distance down in there. So the guys got to see about maybe five or six guys out, maybe more than that. But big set going through there. You can see it from the angle now coming in. The guys scrambling to get out to it. It's looking good. And Brian is making his way around. So one more time for another view from the tent bay section, just a little bit lower than the community center. We're like halfway down the hill from there, but it's a beautiful, beautiful vantage point to take in all this breathtaking scenery here. Just check this coastline, people. All these are hiking tracks that you can make your way on from right up by where we were, all the way up by Skeet Bay and stuff, right along the cliffs, set for a concept where you have to come into hills by Bath, and you can make your way back in the coastline for almost continuous through. So we'll be bringing more stuff in a little bit, but I just want to keep you up to date and say hi to you all and begin from this beautiful, beautiful island, beautiful island of Barbados, of course. And we're sharing our beauty, our love, and our passion, and our journeys with you today, all for a good cause. So see you all later on. Next view, not sure where it'll be from, but trust me, there are more to come. Take care, see you later. Now there is no way that I could come down this side of Bathsheba and not actually bring you some footage from down here as well. So we're going to have a look and see what is outside. Brian is directly outside there, center of the screen right now. You can see his board, you can see him making his way down, all the surfers on the inside section. Let's see if we can capture him a little further out. We can actually have a good look, see if we can see him. Yep, just there now, so you can see him there now. The paddling going, my brother. You with it right through and through. Coming back to a little bit of the beauty and stuff that's surrounding us here today. Look at how lovely out here is. It's one of the smaller sets in the inside section. You can see the north swell, you can see the north effect there. All the guys on the lower section catching the inside. Nice. Great look. I'm not too sure where it is. It looks like Bright St. John, not too sure. But a few guys out, not a lot of guys. You can appreciate it. It's Thursday, it is a work day. So most of the guys will be done later on this afternoon. They'll be hurrying over the hills to get here. But look at this beautiful, beautiful view. Absolutely stunning and spectacular. Just a reminder that we're following Brian on his organic tourism around the island. If you're not sure of what that is, not sure of what his journey is, you have a look on my Facebook. You get some links to his pages if you're not familiar with finding him yourself. And you can find a little bit of a story carried this morning and the purpose for this actual paddle that I put up there for you with a time schedule. So if you're on the island and you want to meet him at any of the locations, he has what times he's estimated to be there. It's not his first venture around the island. It's actually, I think, his number nine. I think he's been around eight successful times before. Don't have to all paddle board and after windsurfing as well because that's what he is as well, windsurfer, kite surfer. Here's our beautiful 360, we're gonna capture this now. Our, this is as you all know, it's our circle of love, the MC style. So here we go.
Wow, hopefully you're able to take in all these sounds and the views. And I'm sure by now a lot of you are feeling exactly what it's like to be here because a lot of you being here 20s and 30 times and stuff. So you know what this is like. Absolutely breathtaking out here today. Special, special day. Lovely North Swell coming through. Guess I got some guys over on the Northwest Coast. Um, I would imagine there are some over there surfing the smaller sets, but over here got some good size on it for sure. Manageable, but good size. So, from the beautiful location directly between Soup Bowl and High Rock, um, I bid you farewell for now from the beautiful, beautiful island of Barbados, of course. We'll catch you later on. Take care. Be safe, be peaceful, share your love, enjoy peace, enjoy serenity, enjoy some of these views, 20 seconds. So we have lost visual contact with him when we left Bashaba because he's somewhere along this long stretch here of cattle wash and with the troughs and the swells that have come through and stuff I haven't picked him up but I know he's in the general area um, working his way down towards the north of the island but we'll be going in that general direction but I wanted to share this with you I didn't want to pass here and not get out and show you here last time we were here as you remember there was couldn't see the beach at all so I got him from right up here inside the mounds itself, right out to the water. It's just a beautiful day, it's low tide right now, so it's pretty nice. Um, you're familiar with this area because we have done some vlogs here before, but I just want to share with you the adventures as we go around the coastline. We put these all together, stitches in, and hopefully we'll have a nice little coverage of the island as we've been around following uh, Brian on his journey and giving him the support that we can in any way possible from the shores of this island as he's going around. Last um, vocal contact was up by Ragged Point in that general area. And the um, last, well, we've actually shouted out to him and he's responded in other sections as well. Um, but we actually haven't had the vocal contact since we were up by the Ragged Point section. But I know he's in this general area here, just I can't pick him out from this elevation. I don't need to get higher up in the hills, but as I said, just want to share this beauty with you is it's not just stunning all right let's do it look you know what let's get a nice spin here uh you know one of our beautiful beautiful circles of love here we go We talk about beauty. What a blessing it is to be out here today to be able to bring us coverage to you all guys. What a beautiful, beautiful day it is here in the rock. Stunning. Just gorgeous. Alright, so we leave you for now. We catch you later on. Enjoy your afternoon. Uh, we'll stitch this all together as I said before. We'll put not one big 4K later on, either today or tomorrow. Depends on how time allows. And uh, we'll be bringing all this beauty to you bit by bit uh, throughout the day on the lives as well have a great day catch you all later bye
So apparently Brian came in on the East Coast, just got a message here, he came in on the East Coast. I'm not too sure um, why he stopped short, I think it's probably because of the heat. If, he, if he's feeling the heat, like how I'm feeling the heat, I'm sure he's feeling it much worse. That is unbelievable heat out here today. Um, but I'll let him tell you all what his um, findings were out there and everything else. So I just want to give you a little bit of a 4K in this general spot here where I was waiting for him. And we're going to make our way back over to the auction shop and find out some information shortly. So let us do our possibly last circle of love. And we're going to do it at Cove Bay, K uh, Gaze Cove in the parish of, well, it slides between two parishes. So St. Peter and St. Lucy. So here we go. Folks, this is where our coverage of last man standing is going to come to an end today. But we're still going to go back up and talk to Brian and get some more footage up that side, hopefully. I'm not sure how exhausted he is, but today is beastly hot here in the island for sure. So I'm sure that played a huge role in it, definitely. So for again, one more time, we are happy to have had you with us. We've done the last man standing, um, taking a trip as far around as the paddling was. Paddling, we've gone a little further than the paddling because that ended somewhere along the east coast area um, and we're right down on the northern tip or north northeastern tip so greetings from barbados and hold on let me not leave you with just this here for a few seconds enjoy 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 and have a great afternoon not too sure what's coming beyond this so i'm gonna put our say, say our farewells now have a great afternoon enjoy life be peaceful be happy and carry the joy and the serenity that you're feeling right now with you and share it with others today please have a great day catch you all later on actually so yeah it was, it was really i would tell you at first first going off so it was beautiful banging it was like smoking at the road and then once you start to get up in that east coast yeah. the swell the swell there's a heavy swell down there which is okay i was dealing with swell but the real hard thing about paddling on this time was, was the seaweed. Right. So I was hitting the seaweed, and then the tr so you're not going anywhere, so you're just basically going up and down, and mm -hmm. then you have to jump off and get the seaweed off, and then you got to go oh. again. So it was, so I was trying to dodge seaweed. <laughs> I was out there dodging, but um, it was it was it was one of my most adventurous tra journeys around because I think a lot of times when you don't make it is when it's an adventure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things go wrong, and you're like, yeah. what to do now? And right and should I go in? Should I stay out? Should I? And that's why when I got, when I got to so the, the waves were intense for like three hours or even four. It was just dodging waves, and some were really big, and I was pretty far out. Yeah. So I was trying to dodge the waves and the seaweed. Then when I said I was I wasn't coming to bash, but I said okay, I'm try one more time, and then I hit seaweed, and I was like, you know, Brian, you, you can't battle this for so long. So when I go, you want no wind, so you don't battle because right. you can't battle for six, seven, eight hours. Yeah. So I was battling for like three hours solid. And I chose to go in, and um, but the, going in was a venture too. I got bombed so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I got dragged across the rocks. I got they all these like dips and dips, and I was like, oh, it was fun. Nobody <laughs> saw, but it was a it, it really um, and that's why life is an adventure. When things go wrong, sometimes is beautiful. And I came, and nobody's there to to watch me get dragged across the rocks. And then um, I came in and I put my board up on the, on a, because I wanted, I want to live at home. Mm -hmm. So luckily, Crystal saw me, Crystal, and she saw me and, um, and then she took me back. Um, so I go off around cattle wash. But um, again, what, what we did here today was part of the journey. And the journey is sometimes you may think you didn't win or you're not complete. But for me today was part of the process. And I had, for me personally, 
Beautiful time. I want to thank you, Nicholas, no, from the bottom of my heart, Krista. Bottom my heart, it means a lot to me because um, this is the, orga the Global Organic Tourism Action Plan. And, and, and the reason I've done this and the reason I put so much energy in it is because I really, from the bottom of my heart, believe in. And as I said to you, giving is living. Giving from the heart is living. Receiving is a blessing. Taking breaks the harmony and magic. And we're giving, and that's why when I'm over there, I'm giving that energy, and the, the the wind and the waves are giving me this energy, and I, I doing that, I feel so good. Yes, that's right, man. That's the reward of it all, isn't it? It's the feeling. You yeah. The feeling for real. Let me, like when I'm eating the, 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 the grapes, I'm like, wow, I love these grapes. When I drink the water, I'm like, I want more. It's like, yeah. so, the, so the reason is, is um, that's why today was pretty dangerous out there, because... Um, I've, I, I'm really relaxed when I'm out there. Like, like I, I come into Ragga Point, gosh, daddy, swimming, you know, two hours. So I, I know what it feels like to do the swim. Mm -hmm. So when I'm out there, I'm fully relaxed. Yeah. So I didn't really have any cramping or anything like that. Everything was really good. But I just didn't want to battle about it. But so the last man standing really is where you, there's nobody behind me, so I won. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I didn't play that kind of game too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay, Brian, real, there's nobody real, behind me. Real. I don't want to kill my body. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think going through, so going through, I call it Hell's Gate. Right. It is Hell's Gate. Yeah. So going through Hell's Gate, there's no, like, a lot of the parts, there's no really, if something happens, you can't come in. Mm. It's it's really, um, it's again rocky and, and stuff. But today really was not the best day. But just, but the way I want to do the last mass, it does not matter. We just do it. Yeah. So if yeah. you see the winds now, this wind is really bad. Yeah. So, so, but. Awesome. I Action. Definitely. Yeah. I, I had to tell you though, yeah. I, I got to commend you because I, I watched you going wrong and I, I don't even know where I would have made. I mean, we made Long Beach or something. So seriously, I yeah. know what you went through today. And I know that what has motivated you is your drive and your passion to your journey, right. which is basically what we do as well. So that's right. why we're covering this. Right. There's a positive um, venture you're on, and we're on a very positive journey right. as well. So you're one of our family, and you know that already, right? Yeah. You can see, right? So yeah. I mean, so I don't know how it works, but I, I just I just follow you, yeah. and I, I all, all, it, all it means is that you come and give yeah. love and care and kindness. Right. So right. so that's why. So today was that's why I gave my heart. I'm out there. I, I, I'm giving. Right. I've given. Absolutely. Yeah, like I know, like when you're out there, you're like she's down by Brian out there. I, I on nice land. I good, but he out there. Yeah, yeah. So you're given that energy. You're like, oh my god, that and it revitalizes us.